What is up, y'all? So today we are leaving our camp spot at our friend's wedding in Tehachapi. We're driving about two hours, if I had to guess, to Lake Isabella, California, where my parents and a few friends are there. We're gonna be taking the boat out, potentially the jet ski, and doing that kind of boating thing. We are gonna be camping at the Auxiliary Dam campground. We did a video on this, and we'll link it there, campgrounds in the area. This is the larger one that should have easier access for big rigs. So we plan on showing you guys a little bit of what it's like to get into there, what amenities they have or don't have. We'll show you some boating as well. Like always, make sure you subscribe, and if you like it, give it a thumbs up. So we are here at the Auxiliary Dam campsite recreation area. This is a federal recreation site, so we actually have our national park pass. Yeah. We'll find out. Just yeah, keep it keep it wide like you're at because there's like some it's bumpier on the right side. Flexing out. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Oh, I'll show you guys what's going on right there. Oh no. We don't want to get any more body damage. So, it's a little tricky getting in here. So, okay, here we go. Like we said before, we did a video on this area. There's some information in that video. But yes, this is a fee area, but considering we have, what is it called? The interagency pass? Yeah, that thing. The eighty dollars, like it's currently eighty dollars annual pass for like all of the national parks, and since this is a federal recreation area, the sign said that camping here is free, and then you get like fifty percent off the dump station. Which um, I think is like ten bucks or something. Something like that, yeah. Check that out. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go double check that for y'all. But anyways, when coming into an area like this, if you're unfamiliar, you might want to walk it because this is all just like overflow camping. So you're driving down a dirt road, you know, they can be steep, it could be off camber, like we just went through. I feel pretty confident. We do a lot of boondocking, so this is kind of like boondocking. Yeah, don't don't worry though. Get out, walk it. Maybe call your friends if you have friends there that you're meeting like we are. Mm -hmm. Just be safe. Yeah. No, sorry. Well, well, sorry, I didn't I thought you were done. Uh, they do have dumpsters here and they do have uh what do they call those? Porta potties? Porta johns. Porta johns. Porta potties, but other than that, it's totally primitive camping. So make sure your trash goes in the dumpster. Exactly. And you know you can dump your tanks at the dump spot and all that. Mm -hmm. Pretty simple. But you can, um, like we did say in our our previous video that we filmed of this place, um, you can basically pull up right next to the water. Don't know the limits of this spot. We'll have to go double check it said the 14 sign. Days. Oh, that's a four, okay. Yeah, 14, days. Fourteen days. Good. Good job, babe, because I wasn't reading that part. I read it. Good job. Oh, there's a schoolie over there. Oh, yeah. I think it looks cool. cool. So we're just rolling in, and then uh, once we get in and get set up, we will show you guys the beautiful lakeside view. And we got the mountains off in the distance, and it is warm today. It's 94 degrees. So. Yeah. So once we get set up, our plan is to take my truck, go to my dad's cabin which is just down the road and he keeps his boat there. So we'll get the boat and then we'll make another run. We'll get the jet ski and then we plan on being here until like Friday. So Monday to Friday. Yeah, should be fun guys. Hope yeah. you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more of our videos, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Uh, that's all I got for now. So that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote for now. I'll catch you later. Five minutes later. Dropped our trailer at the lake. We literally back right up to the water. I'm really excited to put the patio down in the evenings. It's gonna be awesome. Now we're heading to my dad's cabin, which is in Wofford Heights, which is about a 10 minute, 15 minute drive 
from where we are at the lake, no big deal. I'm gonna grab the boat with my truck. And then we have another pickup that is gonna grab our jet ski. I'm really looking forward to this week of just hanging out on the water. Should be really nice. Um, when I was younger, that's what we did. We were a boating family. We would go to all sorts of different lakes all over the country and not really over the country, other, over Southern California. And as people got older, it kind of stopped, you know? People get busy, different things going on and whatnot, and it's gonna be really fun to hang out with some of our friends that we used to do this with all the time, and now they have kids, and it should be a very good time. It seems like we're always just having fun, but I just wanna let you guys know that it's, it's hard work to have fun. It takes effort to go get the boat, to hook up the trailer, to move spots, and it also takes effort financially, and being careful with your money, that's one thing that we have to do a lot. But you know what, it's been working out. It's been working out really well. So it's possible for everyone, it's possible for you. So, you know, if you guys have any questions ever, please let us know and we'll try to help you out because this is a great way to live and why not have more people doing it and living it? Oh, hey guys. So it's pretty interesting. I remember when I was young and I'd be like, Dad, can I take the boat out? And he'd be like, Take the boat out, but you gotta be careful towing it. And now, it just seems like it's just so easy. A boat? In comparison to like, a house? 38 foot toy hauler? It's easy. It's just cool to see uh, progression. It's, it's very interesting. You don't really think about it, but often we are progressing without even realizing, so. Take a look back and uh, enjoy your progress, y'all. And let's uh, let's go boating, doing boat stuff. See the boat back there? That's pretty cool. Boat life. We're batting 500. The jet ski is working good. It got tuned up. It has a new battery. Everything. The boat, on the other hand, I think it has a dead battery. So we brought it back to camp. Probably get a new battery for it, and then probably just launch it right here. My truck's got four-wheel drive, and it's tall enough, but we'll see, we'll see. It's the next day, and we got a battery for the boat. We put it in, still nothing. Not even a click, nothing. Zilch. So we remembered that our boat had sat, and it had rained at the cabin, and the bottom of the boat had filled up with water, and so we went ahead and assumed that the starter was frozen. So we whacked it with a wrench and sure enough, fires right up. We've been driving around, it's been great. And then we pulled it last night because the lake, they're dropping the water to work on the dam and it is dropping extremely quickly every night. So you can see the jet ski's kind of beached, but we can lift the jet ski out. So we didn't want the boat to get beached. So we're gonna drop it again and we're do some wakeboarding, some tubing, all that good stuff. Good nice. Jesse, what do you think? Um, I think you're gonna struggle, but you made it seem like it was very easy, so we'll see. I don't think I'm gonna struggle. Good luck! Thanks, Good luck, babe! Thanks, thanks, babe. thanks.
morning. My dad loves off-road in his motorhome. So my dad, my dad just left. He's got to go cook some meth. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding, you know, because his motorhome looks like Breaking, Breaking Bad, Bad, you know? It's a joke, guys. It's a joke. Don't take me too seriously. Well, my dad does not cook meth. He well, does construction. Walter White over there. But anyways, it's been a joke for a long time that he he cooks meth in that RV. Oh my gosh. Anyways, this is... What? This is the end. This is the end of this video. We, of this trip. Of this little section of this trip yes that's what i just said oh okay so yeah we've been camped here at the auxiliary dam in isabella lake isabella california for the past three days and uh we are heading out that logo oh. there. There, there you go okay I'm oh, oh like sorry that. no they don't want to see that yeah, they, they just want to see the lake no, they want to see the lake. Okay, well, this is the worst closing statement ever. So, anyways, it's gone on way too long. So, anyway, I just want to point out to everybody that um, camping here is actually free if you already have the National Park Interagency Pass. We have one. Which is $80 a year for the regular price. So, if you're going to a lot of national parks or other federa federal recreation lands, you can save yourself a lot of money by yes. getting yourself one. And a lot of Feder federally ran camp spots give you half off on yeah. camping. So we're actually going to another spot right now, a different spot, and we're gonna do half off camping. Yeah, but if you don't have that pass, then it is a $10 per day. <laughs> oh, that was a little sketchy. Our buddy just left and he went over a big old sand pile and his trailer got really <laughs> crooked. Sorry guys. What was I saying? Oh yeah, it's a $10 per day pass, and that's for day use or overnight use. For, that's like the Southern Sierra Pass, and or you can buy a $50 annual Southern Sierra Pass. So those are your options here. There is also a dump station with the annual entry agency pass. You get 50% off. So right now they have a dumpster, they have porta potties, mm -hmm. no fires right now. I no don't fires. know if that's a full time thing or just right now, no fires. There are a lot of firings, but don't have a fire. Yeah. You're not supposed to have a fire. There's a big wildfire concern uh, in this also, area. Also, a big concern for us when we were here is there's this toxic algae. So th they have a map online. You can go check, and there's certain areas where it's blooming more, and they say don't swim there. Uh, where we were, it was fine, and mm -hmm. we tried to do most of our swimming in the afternoons when the wind pushed the algae away from our little beach. Mm -hmm. And then as well, we're out on the boat and the jet ski doing that kind of stuff so yeah, so in the middle of the lake it's not as much of a concern but definitely can, keep an eye out for that and be careful with um small kids and, and dogs yes. yes your adventure cats your Make adventure sure you cats don't let them swim too much <laughs> your adventure cats but anyways guys that is it for this one we hope you enjoyed it fun little lake camping um little lake day oh but uh, a little intense yeah we'll catch you all in the next one